Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. I just overworked, crushed and burnt. Honestly, I've been so tired trying to keep up with YouTube, trying to keep up with my baby, trying to keep up with Instagram, trying to keep up with the newsletter. It all just got a bit too much. So today I bring you my hair growth oil which I made for my postpartum and it's Amla and Fenwick. So I'm going to let you get into the video. Bye. As part of my Ayurveda hair care challenge, I am making this Amla and Fenugreek hair growth oil. I kept it simple because at the time I made this, which was last year, March, I was eight months pregnant and I was preparing for my postpartum shedding. So because I was pregnant, I couldn't really use too many different herbs to be safe for my baby. I did my research and I read that amla is very, very good for hair loss and thinning and it can actually reverse balding. It's very moisturizing. So every time I've used it, my hair comes out very moisturized and soft. Fenugreek is very good for detangling because it has this mucilage that gives your hair a lot of slip when it's soaked in water. It also helps with thickening the hair. So that is very good. So to start, I'm going in with a quarter cup of amla powder. Right, I'm going to put a link below of where I get all my Ayurveda herbs from. So next I'm going in with a quarter cup of fenugreek powder. Then followed by a handful of bay leaves as they provide shine for your hair. I'm then going in with this dandelion infused cold pressed olive oil i used dandelion because it's good for fighting inflammation if your scalp is inflamed and is itching it will not be a good environment that will be conducive for growth and then i decided to add a few of the dandelion flowers in the mixture i wouldn't actually advise this because when i did it it left some white little fluffs in the oil so don't don't do that so after that i go in with a quarter cup of avocado oil and then i follow up with another quarter cup of castor oil so i actually go in with two cups of castor oil If you've got Jamaican black castor oil, that would be even better. So here I'm going in with my Marula oil. This oil is a very, very penetrative oil. It's really good for the skin and it's light. It's super expensive. So as you can see, I did not use a lot, but it's really, really good for the hair and skin. I get this from Holland and Barrett and I think I got this on sale. I love to get all my really expensive oils on sale because why not save some money when I can, right? So next up, I'm going in with Argan oil. This is another expensive one. It's, I think it cost me about 22 pounds and that is also from Holland and Barrett. And I usually get this on the penny sale. So you get one for 22 pounds and you get the next one for a penny, which is just an amazing deal. So that's Argan oil. I use that for my skin as well. So once all the oils are in, I go in to just mix everything up. So just mix, mix, mix till everything is mixed very well together. And then I use the double boiling method to just warm up everything to just help the infusion to be a lot more effective and to really just start off the process before I put this oil away. So as you can see, I'm not doing it on the stove because the last time I did this, I cracked my mixture bowl. So I'm not doing that again. So I boiled the water separately and then I put the mixture bowl in after. So once it's all infused, I will come back and show you what it looks like and also how I use it. So this is the oil a year later. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
so i ended up adding more oils as i as i bought them because when i first made it we were in lockdown so i didn't have a lot of the oils so i just added i think i added more olive oil i also added some cloves because like i said i wasn't able to use a lot of the iv de powders but then i needed more of the benefits so i bought these cloves to make my hibiscus drink and then i read that it's actually really good for hair and um it really gets blood supply to your scalp which then encourages growth so i'm really excited to try that out so here i am separating my oil and i'm using a muslin it was fine enough to not let any of those little white fluffs from the flower into my oil so you need either a muslin or tights so that's what was left at the bottom i would have usually used the remaining powder as a gloss but because i added a bunch of flowers to it it really made it useless so all that was wasted and went straight to the bin unfortunately so now i'm just using a funnel which is probably the best investment i could have made for my oil making to just pour out the oil into a bottle so now i'm going in with eucalyptus and then some clary sage and then some vanilla so now that we're all done i'm just gonna shake it to make sure that everything is mixed in there properly so as you can see it's not too thick and i love that about this oil um it flows very well so it would be perfect for your scalp and for your ends as well so how i'm going to be using this oil i'm going to use it on my scalp to just keep it from being so dry to encourage growth and then i am going to apply it on the length of my hair after i moisturize it um, and also on my edges to encourage the hairs to grow back so the hairs that has been broken off by my postpartum shedding just to encourage those to grow back now i'm applying it on the ends of my hair and by doing this it reduces single strand knots and also just protects my ends from further damage you can also use this oil to mix with your deep conditioners you can use it as a hot oil treatment and you can use it as i've used it to protect my ends and also to apply as a scalp oil so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter i will put the link below i share more hair care tips in my newsletter so definitely check it out it's free don't forget to subscribe comment below and share what iv the herbs that you're currently using and how you are finding them my next video will be how i use these herbs for my deep conditioners if you want to keep up with me definitely follow me on instagram and i shall see you in my next video bye